Welcome everybody to another Kriti tutorial. Today I want to emphasize on UI. Let's get started. This tutorial is dedicated for beginners only and will show a quick rundown on what to expect from Krita's UI. Any advanced features will be discussed in a later video. There are two ways to open a new document in Krita. The first is by left clicking in the blank space in the center. This makes it really easy to dive into a project. The second is by going to the upper bar menu and clicking on File, then New. These actions will now bring you to the new doc menu. This menu contains a bunch of options which aren't necessary to delve into for beginners. Feel free to explore on your own. I will only be covering the basics needed to get a solid piece of work going. Head over to the Custom Document tab. The Custom Document tab lets you control the width and the height of your project, as well as your resolution. This tab lets you set a portrait or landscape mode for your new project. If you happen to put in the wrong dimensions, or if you feel like your piece would work better with a different mode, then this would be a great option for you. Okay, now click Create and we are all set to go. Now we will get into the mouse function. I will be covering the mouse button functions, but these can be mapped to your favorite drawing pen tablet as well. The left click is the standard drawing button. The right click is the Quick Tools menu. This Quick Tools menu lets you manage the workflow of your artwork with the click of a button. You can set shortcuts for your favorite tools, change the colors you are working with, and manipulate the canvas to your heart's content. I will delve deeper into this later in the video. In continuation, the middle button is how you move the canvas. The roll function of the middle button is used to zoom in and out of the canvas. Now let's move into the Docker tabs. Dockers are special panels in Krita that have specific functions meant to aid you in your projects. The Toolbox Docker is where your main artistic tools are held. You can find the Toolbox Docker on the right. The most important of these tools is definitely the brush tool, but we can also find the bucket tool, crop tool, transform tool, line tool, ink, eyedropper, magic wand, and more. I will cover these in depth on a later video. Now that we have covered the toolbox stock, let's get into the shortcuts. The shortcuts for each tool can be found by hovering over each tool with your mouse or digital pen. The ones I mostly use are B for Brush Tool, Control T for Transform, L for the Lasso Tool, F for the Bucket Tool, G for the Gradient Tool, E for the Eraser, D for Default Colors, Control Z for Undo, and Control Shift Z for Redo. Now let's delve into the Brush Preset Docker. The Brush Preset Docker is a hub for all your brush tools. These tools are meant to mimic real-world art equipment and can be highly customized. Feel free to experiment here as well to find your favorite drawing brushes. The search filter helps you organize the palette of tools available to you from the menu. You can leave it set at all to keep all the brushes available to you. You can also search relevant words in the search bar below if you can't quite find the brush you are looking for. The best feature on this doc, however, is the tag function. Here you can tag each brush preset to a brush bundle that is searchable in the brush filter menu. Best of all, you can parent it to your quick tool menu that I previously mentioned. This alone lets you customize your workflow like never seen before. Now let's get into the Layers Dock. The Layers Dock lets you organize your image layers, letting you control their visibility and blending styles. The I button lets you quickly toggle the visibility of the layer on and off, while the Opacity Scrubber at the top gives you more of a gradient of opacity to choose from. The Advanced Color Selection Dock becomes quite relevant when the Quick Tool menu is by far more convenient. I will skip this dock for now. Let's head over to the Tool Option Docker. The Tool Options Docker is the complementary dock for the toolbox. 
this docker gives you sub options for each tool. Using the brush tool as an example, you can see the brush smoothing setting and a snap to assistance checkbox. The brush smoothing option lets you smooth out your brush stroke, making the mouse a viable option for smooth line work. Snap Assistant, on the other hand, lets your strokes snap to ruler setups with the ruler tool. I will discuss the ruler tool in a later video. The upper tool menu contains basic controls for your brush. You can pick your brush colors, change your brush size and opacity, and even change the blending options for your brush. This large brush button is where you can customize your brush, creating changes in velocity, texture, and more. These options are a bit too complex for beginners, but feel free to experiment. Here you can also find the Eraser Tool button, which can convert any brush you have into an eraser. Finally, you can also add some symmetry tools for both horizontal and vertical axes. Let's discuss the Quick Tool menu. Once again, you can open this menu by using the right-click option on the mouse. This is a very handy tool that brings several functions of Create a UI into a small menu for easy access. You can load a new brush palette by clicking on the list icon towards the bottom. Once clicked, it will show you a list of tags you can pick from. Select one and look at the results. Now you have a new set of brushes to choose from. This quick menu also contains a mirror button meant to flip your image. You can also find a zoom scrubber. The right portion of the Quick Tool menu is the Brush HUD. Here you can control your brush properties on the fly. If you would like more brush properties to manipulate, you can go to your upper right corner. There you can activate more brush properties. Lastly, let's talk about how to export your image. Go to File, Save or Save As, or you can hit Ctrl S. Give your project a name and select a format. As you can see, Krita has a large amount to choose from. Now hit enter and your project is finished. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on Krita UI. If you liked the video, please hit like and subscribe.